Hi guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today on What's Cooking Wednesday, I'm making a dinner that's on the lighter side. You know, after Christmas into the new year, that's kind of what I'm looking for. So today I'm making sheet pan chicken fajitas. These chicken fajitas are so easy to throw together. You can literally make them in less than 30 minutes. And even though they're on the lighter side, they're still tasty enough that my whole family will eat them. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make them. Okay guys, now before we get started on these yummy fajitas, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, because on this channel I share new recipes all the time, especially on Wednesdays. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like healthy but easy recipes. Now let's get started. Today's recipe is going to serve about six people, but you can easily double or triple this if you wanted to make it for a party. Here's what you're going to need. I'm starting with one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Now I get these from Zaycon Fresh and they are very good. Now if you're curious about Zaycon Fresh, I'll go ahead and put a coupon code down below for $30 off of your first order. And no, this is not a sponsored video. I just really like Zaycon Fresh. I'm also using four small peppers, a red one, a yellow one, a green one, and an orange one. You also need a medium onion, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of chili powder, and not pictured here, but you're gonna want some salt and pepper to taste. You're also gonna want some olive oil and tortillas. You can use flour, or in my case, I'm using corn because I want them to be gluten-free but you can use whichever tortillas you prefer. You may also want some toppings for your fajitas. I really like sour cream, fresh lime juice, and cilantro. I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 400 degrees. I'm also going to prepare my large baking sheet by adding a little drizzle of olive oil. Now, if your chicken's not already chopped up, you're gonna to wanna to do that at this point. Next, I'm going to slice up all of my bell peppers followed by my onion. And I'm gonna get all of this onto my pan. When that's done, I can go ahead and add my chicken as well. And I'm going to mix this up just a little bit before I add my spices. I'm gonna go ahead and put this complete recipe in the description box below. Now, if you'd like, you could also use a fajita seasoning packet if you didn't wanna make your own. That would definitely make it a lot faster and don't forget the salt and pepper to taste. Next, I'm going to drizzle this with a little bit more olive oil and mix it around. You just want all the chicken and peppers coated in all of the spices. Next, I'm going to add this to my oven and bake it for about 15 minutes. When the 15 minutes are done, I'm going to remove it from the oven, and then I do need to drain some of the excess moisture that came off the vegetables. At this point, I also wanna to check to make sure that my chicken is pretty much done cooking. And at this point, the vegetables should be tender, but not mushy. I'm going to take my spatula to move the chicken and peppers just a bit so I can add my tortillas. Then I'm gonna place everything back in the oven for just five minutes. I just want my tortillas to be heated through. Now when it comes out of the oven, I like to add some cilantro, some fresh lime juice, and then I can build my fajitas. And of course, you can add whatever toppings you prefer. And sometimes for my kids, I'll serve this over rice instead of inside a tortilla. And there you have it. This is definitely a quick and easy dish. And let me just say, it made my entire house smell delicious. I hope you guys love it. Now, if you like this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Now, if you'd like to see more recipes from me, you can click on the link up here. And if you'd like to see one of my regular videos, you can click on the link down there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.